Hi guys, I'm back on my YouTube channel. It's been a while. I haven't created any content. Quite engaged with many different kind of stuffs. So yeah, finally I'm back. So I'm coming back, guys, with a training program called the Master Net DevOps Training. We all know that network automation, DevOps stories are going everywhere these days. Whatever type of organization it is, whatever type of vertical it is, they are looking for some sort of network automation, adding some DevOps skills on it. So this particular training program is intended for that only. A couple of things which I wanted to discuss here. First thing is the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites for this training program? There is no prerequisite. As far as you have a basic networking knowledge, you are good to go. I'm not expecting you to be a very extensive coder or a programmer or something. This training is intended for the guys who are coming from a traditional, purely network background and wanted to switch their profile, switch their roles to the today's demand as network automation engineer or even the network engineer itself requires good lot of automation stuff as well as the DevOps stuff. What are the targeted roles for this? You can target, as I said, network engineer itself requires. So other than that, we have network automation engineer, network development engineer. You can name anything. At the end of the day, they requires networking skills. They requires automation skills. They require DevOps skills. And also leverage all three to come up with some sort of application. Okay. Now why Net DevOps? What exactly this Net DevOps story is? So this Net DevOps is basically your legacy network with automation along with the DevOps stuff. So network automation is quite common these days. Everyone is talking about network automation here and there. So to match our pace with the industry, we have to learn that. I know many of you even choose network engineering because you don't want to code. You don't want to become a software engineer. But eventually we landed up into the same situation where to, for doing network engineering, we need to know about how to code. And I completely understand that coming from a purely network background, where to from where to start, how to start, what to learn, what not to learn. And there are so many contents out there in the market. So by keeping everything in the mind and by using my own experience, because I'm a purely network guy. I was a purely network guy and I have switched myself from a legacy network engineer to so-called net DevOps engineer. Okay. So here we are not going to learn just that, okay, this is Python, this is this, this is that. We are going to keep in our mind that these are the networking skills we have. I know how OSP works, I know how BGP works, I know how switching works, how a router works, how a firewall works, what are these kind of devices are. Now we will learn how to automate, how to use those devices, how to use those technologies in a way that it can make ourselves, our lives easy when it comes to the day-to-day -day operations in the network. What is the future of net devops i don't think so i need to talk about this everyone knows very well this is the only future we have in the networking because but don't take me wrong guys okay i'm not saying that network engineering is no more required your networking skills are no more required they are required okay they are there and they are going to be there But we need to learn that how can we leverage those? How can we optimize those in a way that the job which we used to do in days or weeks or months, we can reduce it down in a couple of hours. OK, that's that's what the net DevOps is. Net DevOps is a framework, is an architecture where we have many different components such as using a scripting language such as Python, using some of their automation skills, using some of the config management system, such as Terraform and Sybil, or some other, there are many out there in the market, and also adding some DevOps story on top of it. 
but other dependencies on net devops the whole industry is going to be depend on the net devops only why because if you think from a network engineer perspective as well today if i ask you there are thousand of switches you need to go and configure something 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 there now maybe switching is a pretty easy job for you it's creating some vlans creating some uh, assigning some access policies on it however being a huge in count being thousands of devices okay it is going to take a long time maybe some few weeks maybe a month we'll never know so to reduce it down to do it in a optimal way we are coming up with this net devops story so i have split it this module into two parts one is network automation module and one is devops module okay first we will learn the network automation part of it and then we will learn the devops part of it and obviously how can we integrate those two so let's get started first of all with the network automation story so we will be starting from basics of python you need to know guys i'm going to start it from the scratch i'm not expecting you to know anything about the coding or python or uh, anything related to it as far as you know basics of networking you are good to go so i'm going to take it from that level understanding the basics of python what are variables strings lists dictionary tuples integers and then moving forward what are different type of loops while loops for loops different type of modules functions what are those in python we are going to talk about that first of all and then we are going to leverage some of the applications of python such as netmeco parameco nepal to automate our day to day network operations and obviously the day one configuration part as well we'll be understanding what the python regular expressions are and how can we leverage those python regular expressions to create our scripts in a way that it can be providing more optimal outputs to us okay again i know you might have tried learning python many times and you get bored with those hello world scripts okay this particular training module is not going to focus on that hello world skill okay we are going to learn python and then we will parallelly implement it from a network perspective so if we are learning string how can we leverage those string when it comes to our network configuration so we are going to do it that way so that being a network engineer it's not easy to learn or switch into the programming or coding but we are going to learn from a network perspective so that it gives you more much more interest then we'll moving forward uh, going into the data serializations and the template in data serialization and template we are going to talk about like json yaml xml jinja two templates and how can we integrate them with the python so if i wanted to configure same let's say routing protocol or sphere for isas or bgp or creating vlans how can we create a template of configuration and use it again and again then we will be moving forward to netcon frestcon gnmi these are the different ways by which we can push our config oops sorry it's no more config it's a data which we are pushing to our devices so how can we leverage those using netcon frestcon gnmi what is cisco yang suit how can we leverage yang suit to create a data structure different types of data structures used for used by different protocols such as netcon frestcon then we'll be moving forward to piads piads is a great application when it comes to the network testing so we are going to go through that <clears throat> then we will be looking into some of the configuration management systems such as hashicorp's terraform red hat's ansible and how can we leverage that and keep that thing in mind guys i'm not going to to complete course on terraform complete course on ansible no basically what we are going to do is what we have learned how can we leverage that using terraform and push it to the device because 
I know if you know that how to configure OSPF, you know how to configure BGP as far as technologies are clear. So configuring is not a big deal. The only thing is that how to deal with these tools with my networking protocols. That's the only thing which we need to focus on. So I'm going to keep that thing in mind and we are going to design our modules. We are going to design our training in that way that it is going to help you out with this. Automation using Cisco NSO. Cisco NSO is a great tool and we can leverage it in many different manners, many different ways, and we are going to focus on those. Okay. And the most interesting part, use of AI in our network automation. We are talking about so many AI solutions here and there, chat GPT, blah, blah, so many stuff out there. How can we leverage those AI for our network automation? Why we still need to do network automation manually? Why can't we leverage AI to even automate that? So we are going to understand that we are going to integrate some of the AI modules with our Python automation, and we will be leveraging those in a way that even automation gets easier for us. The next we will be moving to the DevOps. DevOps is a very integral part when it comes to the net DevOps. So we'll be starting from basics of DevOps in which we will learn that what exactly the DevOps are, how exactly this DevOps story came into the picture, what are the different tool sets which we have for the DevOps, what is the role of DevOps in our network journey, or I would say in our network automation journey. If we are talking about the next-gen solutions, next-gen networks, obviously we need to talk about the next-gen virtualization, because virtualization is also playing a very integral role into our networking journey. So having a server, installing a hypervisor like some ESXi or some other KVMs, we are going to talk about how to deal with Docker and containers. Okay, we'll be replacing those. We'll be replacing, creating many different VMs such as Windows, Linux, Mac OS, running different applications on it. So we'll be focusing on just application part, that's all. And by saying this, talking about Docker container and not to talk about Kubernetes doesn't make sense. So once we get into the Docker container, we understand their infrastructure, we understand their architecture, then we'll look into the Kubernetes part of it as well. Also, since we are working in a collaborated infrastructure, we are, we are having so many different team members who are working on some or some other stuff. So we need some sort of repository where the versioning can be maintained. So there the Git plays a role. So we are going to talk about Git, we are going to talk about GitLab as a tool for the Git operations. How to set up that GitLab on your own? How can you set up your own personal GitLab server? How can you use public GitLab server? We are going to talk about that. And then we obviously will be talking about CI-CD pipelines. CI-CD pipelines is continuous integration and continuous development pipelines. Pipeline, it clarifies somehow by name itself. We are creating some sort of pipeline where, are, where we have some sort of identification, some sort of configuration, some sort of mechanism to push that configuration, verification of that configuration, and then come up with the end result. Okay, that's the pipeline. Okay, we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about Jenkins. We'll be talking about network monitoring using the Grafana as a tool. So we will use Grafana to create a custom dashboard for our network monitoring by the use of network telemetry and different mechanisms by which we can leverage that network telemetry. So that's all we are going to learn from the DevOps. And obviously, one by one, as we are coming up with the modules, we'll be learning the DevOps module. We will also integrate them with our network automation so that things will make more and more sense to you because I understand you're coming from a networking background, so it's not easy. It might be some buzzwords for you, that's all. But I will make sure that those buzzwords start making sense to you. So this is pretty much, guys, for now. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, this class is going to be started from 18th June, 2023. Time will be 5 to 7 p.m. IST, which is GMT 5.30. Duration of the course is 50 hours. The class is going to be only on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. 
so that the weekdays you i know you have guys are having hectic schedules so you can take some time out and practice those thing outs and obviously when i say practice i will give you the lab setup as well and i'm not something i'm giving you some pods or some uh, racks on rental and not those kind of things i'm going to give you or i'm going to explain you how can you set up your own lab infra and that with minimal resources and maximum output okay so there is a link in the for the registration guys in the description kindly click on that link fill in the data once you fill in the data you will receive all the details related to the training on your email once you have that you are good to go you can join so i would love to see you guys in my class and thank you again for watching my video and also don't forget to subscribe my channel as well see you guys bye